was so weird. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. We're out here on a hot summer morning. It's hot in Oklahoma. We've had 100 degree weather and um, I know these bison are super hot and they're trying to find all the shade that they can get. So we're out here and we've got a guest that's with us that has not yet seen the calves yet. And you probably know him. But I brought some guests with me out here besides my really dirty dog who loves the water but I've got my wife where are you at? there hey. she is there and then I have a somebody who you guys know but hasn't seen the baby bison yet look at that little nephew of mine can you see him there he is but look they're already coming up to him and loving on him and smelling on him and checking him out because he's new and so they want to know who the heck's out here in their pasture and so the first thing they do is they want to sniff you and uh, get your scents and all that good stuff. been doing just living the dream out here hanging out with the bison I mean what else would you want to do I mean that it's not to be hot it's hot isn't it yeah it's really hot I would love to get away I bet you would you love the water this is Houston's first time to see the calves and um you know it's pretty cool isn't it get to see the baby calves so um, as soon as we got out here um, the bison always want to know who the heck are you you know wh who is this out here so the first thing they do is uh, they come up to me they they smell you and then you know they want to know who's out here and so the first thing they did is to Houston is they came up to Houston and uh, you know took a smell of him and accept him he's good to go one thing uh, we, we didn't do is we didn't bring our cattle cubes so um, that's one thing that they always will come and check is to see if you got any cattle cubes but uh, the cool part this is the fun part about um, having these animals um, and, and doing this and bringing people out here is family we get to bring family out here uh, my sister and Emma have been on one of my videos before of the first time they're of seeing the calves and so now we've got Houston um, he's getting worn out it's hot out here very much but Houston you're a lucky guy you get to come out here and hang out with bison firsthand when you first came out here they came right up to you and you know what there's a lot of kids your age that don't have that opportunity um, so um, 
it's pretty neat isn't it yeah it's pretty cool but um you know it's it's not always safe that's why we kept you in the atv because if you watch uh some of the latest videos on youtube um you see people out in the middle of the national park uh that is dealing with a whole different um wild bison um they are used to people but that is their world and when you step in their world um, and you get a little bit too close um, you know things can go wrong and that's what happened <laughs> if you saw that video of that girl um, I'm glad she's okay but man that is very dangerous for for people to be out there in, in Yellowstone and those big national parks like that it is not the same as being out here around bison who are used to hands-on you know and people being around them all the time and we get up close to them and feed them those bison out there aren't used to that and they are they're a little bit different breed um, they're the same type of bison they're plains bison um, known as the genus species is bison bison which is the same as mine so there you go Atta boy. You ready? And keep your hand flat. Is that the Look at that big old tongue. Oh, that feels so weird. <laughs> it's rough, isn't it? Yeah. It's like hard. It's like a, like, it's like cement. It's like <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that feels so weird. Why do you think they're... All right, excuse, so Houston's with us. He helped feed uh, the bison, but one thing that is, is fun about having the youth out here is um, they don't know the history of the bison, and of course, being a history teacher, um, I like to talk about their history. So Houston, these animals, a long time ago, were flourishing. They were all over the place, like there was no fences or anything, and so uh, they just roamed free. You know, like all those deer and just did you see them in random places well how would you like to be driving down the road and the bison be running across the road or out in your pasture with the with uh, your goats and the and the deer and whatnot It'd be pretty cool right well it used to be like that a long time ago um there was millions of them but so then they started to die they started to die a Why? lot of bad things happened to them what happened? well a lot of people got money hungry and wanted to kill them, just shoot them for that hide. You see how thick and pretty that hide is? Yeah. Right? Just like a deer skin. Same thing. That hide became really expensive. And so what people started doing is they started hunting them. And they kept shooting them. But all that meat was wasted. All they wanted was to make money on that hide. And so what happened to millions of the bison is they disappeared. They almost came to extinction. You know what that means? What? Extinction means completely gone. Like gone, like where we would never see. Can you imagine like if there was not a goat left in the whole world? Right? It'd be crazy. Well, these animals almost completely disappeared. And so... Were you alive was, when that happened? I was not alive. None of us were here. This is like late 1800s. So this is... This is like over a hundred years ago, way before you and I, your dad, mom was all here. But they almost disappeared, but people started to raise them and, and try to save the bison. And look where they are now. We get to own some. How cool is that? Yeah. Do you think you could talk your dad into... Do you want to be babies? Yeah. Because what I was talking about earlier is what you don't know is your dad and I when we worked together at the park. So what your dad and I used to do is we used to go out in the bison pasture at the National Park Service when we worked together in the summertime and we would feed them. That was the first time we got to hand feed them. 
and we that was our first time to be up close to him and we took care of him did he ever tell you those stories mm -hmm. well we need to get on to dad and tell him to talk to you about that so when we started to started to hang out with him you know those bison when you drive through the park and you see them in the pasture sometimes mm -hmm. that's them we used to take care of them and so that's what kind of got me started into doing this so and now we get to have them right here in our pasture that's pretty cool so we need i think we need to talk your dad into keeping these for you well he can yeah because well uh, you know what pasture. we can always have more can't we yeah we can make it bigger but your pasture isn't that big as ours yeah you've got because you got that some more, more room <laughs> yep but you know what i've only got eight so we don't need a whole lot but what if someday we had like a hundred okay that would be, that would be awesome overdue. that would be way over too but how cool would that be you'd look out in the pasture and they'd just be everywhere yeah. that'd be pretty cool so i've been giving houston a hard time for a long time about that long blonde hair and i said man you need to cut your hair cut your hair dude um and that's just being the coach and, and me. that's what i did and he cut his hair and now what do you say to me i say you need to start shaving your beard <laughs> he wants me to shave my beard all the time so because i hate um, it so now now he's throwing it back at me after uh i gave him a hard time for having long hair for forever so no you got shaved uh no but isn't it cool isn't it kind of nice i'm getting ready for winter time <laughs> okay guys so i've had a lot of good compliments on our new shirts as you can see that we're rocking out um you saw daniel from arms family homestead uh you know put our wear our shirt for us and rep it um so we uh i just basically took my logo and put it on here and so um the good news is and i've had a lot of requests um for some shirts so what we're going to start doing i'm um, here pretty soon is we are getting some shirts made and we're going to start selling some shirts if you'd like to have one um, maybe in one of my uh, upcoming videos I'll um, let you know the process and how to get you a shirt um, cross timbers bison shirt uh, if you'd like to have one so we'll keep you updated on that hey guys I hope you enjoy the video today and you know it's nice to have family always come out and and be a part of you know getting able to uh, be around the bison especially calves everybody loves baby calves who doesn't love baby bison calves and uh, so it was good for Houston to get out here and get to see the bison, learn a little bit about the history of the bison and uh, super unique story. And I hope that as he grows up, as well as others can understand um, more about the history of bison. And, um, you know, and like I just told him, we have him out here in our pasture, which is so cool. Um, and we love being able to say that and that we can contribute to the uh to the bison world and we get to do that right here in our own pastures so it's nice to have uh houston from arms family homestead out here with us today and my wife she loves it um, just as much as i do and and she does a lot of the recording for me so she's not able to be out here with me all the time uh, and on the videos too as well so but i hope you guys enjoyed the video um if you already haven't subscribe to us follow us along if you'd like, uh, these animals are fun to be around. They're fun to watch. And uh, I love filming them and I love getting up close and personal to them, as you guys know that. So um, just follow us along. If you'd like, uh, you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Um, if you got any questions or anything or thoughts, um, you know, give us a holler sometime and you can feel free to email me or, or comment on some of my latest videos. Thank you guys. Over. She's a knucklehead. She's goofy sometimes. He's nice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, you lunch. You want to fix your hair? Is it okay? <laughs>